On a sunny October morning in 2023, down in Florida, there was a bit of a scene that caught the attention of the sheriff's deputies. Seems there was this couple, a guy and his wife from Russia, and they were having a real tiff over breakfast. Can you believe it? Over a breakfast burrito of all things. Now the husband was just trying to enjoy his morning grub, but his wife, bless her heart, was a bit tipsy. So things escalated and before you know it, the cops were called in to sort it out. Just goes to show that even the simplest things can spark a bit of drama sometimes, especially when tempers are flaring and breakfast is on the line. Hold on for just a moment. We need your help and support. We've just launched an exciting new YouTube channel featuring new body cam footage that's sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. We're committed to uploading fresh content every two days, and we've set ourselves a challenge to hit 1,000 subscribers in less than 24 hours. It's a challenge that's as thrilling for you as it is for us. So, what are you waiting for? I can promise you an adrenaline pumping experience with the best and most exciting body cam footage on our new channel, Cop Cam Reactions. You'll find the channel link on the end screen of this video. And I've also just uploaded a new video there. You can access both the channel link and the latest video link in the end screen, description box, and pinned comment section below. When you head over to our channel to subscribe, don't forget to drop a comment saying subscribed on our latest video. And make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest releases. The clock is ticking, and we're relying on you to help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers in less than 24 hours. Let's make it happen together. Thanks for your time, and I'll be eagerly awaiting your subscriptions and comments on our new channel, CopCam Reactions. Please and hurt me. How did he get you out? Tell me how he got you out. Like this? He grabbed that, and then how did you hurt your elbow? Because I, t I tried to go in. I'm, I'm right here. Right, you tried to go in, what happened? He locked the door. Okay, explain to me how he hurt your elbow. He locked the door with two babies inside. Right. I can't go in. Okay. I haven't got shoes, I haven't got nothing. How did he hurt your elbow? How did it hurt? What did he do that you hurt your elbow? He put me... As the officers arrived, they spotted a woman standing outside the house looking tense and ready to explode. You could feel the tension in the air, and it was clear she was upset about something. In situations like this, it's important to approach carefully, assess the scene, and ensure everyone's safety. Sometimes, all it takes is a calm conversation to de-escalate things and find a resolution. Let's hope for the best outcome without things escalating further. Put me and I like, take me, like, my English is no good. It's okay, it's okay. But he, but he grabbed me and take out the files. Okay. We've been through this. Fuck. I don't know if she's drinking now. Look at her teeth. She's staying with wine. You know, I'm sitting out here with my neighbor doing the same shit. I'm sitting here at home right now because I'm afraid for my kid. I'm trying to help her. I, I, I'm trying to come back in my country because I'm, I'm, I'm scared here. Okay, I understand. But what happened that you that you guys got into this argument? I tried to not fight. Right. I'm trying to take care of two little kids and, and a third big fucking... It, it's so mind-boggling that I don't know what to do. And then Have rips you, uh, my fucking door off, throws shit while we're eating, video, trying to videotape me, like, catching me, do it. She wants me to hit her. She wants me to hit her. She's for the same shit. I try to not fight, but okay. he's, honestly, he's danger. Okay. He's danger. Are there any guns or anything in the house? No. Approaching the woman, the officer noticed she was hesitant to share the full story. It seemed like she was holding something back, maybe out of fear or concern for the consequences. It's always challenging when people are reluctant to open up, especially in situations like this. Asking the right questions and digging deeper are all part of the job of the officer. No. I don't understand. Is there guns? Pow, pow. Is there a gun in the no, house? No, no, no. no guns. Okay. So this morning, you're all sitting here. You're arguing about last night, how you came home. Dude, it, it's, it's been from the so, beginning. So, all right. I so, come up in the morning. Okay. Today, I clean right, up the right. whole shit, the pictures I just showed you. Okay. I clean the house. I put the deal. I got a new refrigerator coming because okay. my refrigerator's broke. Okay. I stay home because it was a nightmare last night. Okay. Same shit. Okay. You know, I wasn't going to work and I wasn't leaving. Why is there a fucking ambulance? Why are they here? Who are you? Huh? Why are you here? At 421? Yeah. Why? Right. Okay, we're in the middle of a call right now. We're in the middle of a, an investigation right now. 
What kind of delivery do you have? Home Depot. Home Depot. You, I can do a delivery right now? No. All right, let me call in the company and let her know. All right. She has nowhere to go. I understand that. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just... I, 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 regardless of how horrible it is, uh... The officer approached the man and inquired about the disturbance. Surprisingly, the man was quite forthcoming. He didn't dodge the questions, but calmly explained the situation and relevant details. It's always a relief when people are willing to cooperate like that. It makes the officer's job easier. With the man's help, they could begin to piece together what happened and hopefully resolve the situation. I know that she has nothing. Right. That's probably my friend. And you're Can you do what? Can I ask, can I talk to a customer? No, sir. Right now we're in the middle of an investigation. Oh, we cannot do anything. No. Oh, I got you. I got you. Thank you. Bye bye. I still have ketchup in my hands. You got like. Dude, I, I got fing shit. Yeah, yeah. I see you red right there. So rip, rip my fing door off. Do you have any other. you have any injuries on you? No, I mean, I don't, it's not injuries. It's not okay. anything like that. It's just something that's. He, he, he called the police all the time on me. Okay. If I'm fine. He, he put me to jail. We done been through this twice. But before she was arrested for the same thing? She has a battery charge. On you? Uh, yes. When was that? Fucking <laughs> two weeks ago, man. Here at the house or somewhere? Yes, yeah, same place. You said you've been to jail already before? Yeah, because he put me. Because he said that I'm part of him. But right now, he really take me out and put out a house and block a door. Okay. Come on with your breakfast. What happened? Come on. I had to deliver Uber Eats because I'm not leaving my kids. Okay. Literally just open it up. Okay. Eating a sausage burrito. Okay. Sitting here eating with ketchup. Okay. Picks it up, throws and hits me in the head, beats the f***ing shit out of me. Did you fall? What happened to your elbow? He did it. How did he do it? I, I don't want to show you. Like, he put me like this and said that I need to leave. I'm eating breakfast and f***ing get slammed and beating the f*** out of me. I don't swing on people. I don't do nothing. I don't have a f***ing record. Listen, there's no reason to get upset. I'm, I'm not getting upset. upset. I'm, I'm saying, just stressing my opinion. I That's how I talk. I, get I apologize. All right. Like I said, I, I, I'm here listening but, to you. But I, I, this, I don't know what the f*** to do. I, I'm going through a citizenship f***ing deal. Uh, she's got a little bit of the. I don't know what the f*** it is. DCF comes over, they put a safety plan in play, I try to take it off of it, I go to the district attorney, I f***ing try to drop the battery charge, she's still going on, she's got a no f***ing drinking clause, whatever it is, it's still on her deal, it's still, it's still pending. I'm trying to do The woman poured her heart out to the officer, describing how the man had forcibly ejected her from the house, preventing her from seeing her children. Her desperation to reunite with her kids was palpable in her words, as if she was pleading for her entire world to be set right again. Her emotional plea painted a vivid picture for the officer, making him realize that there was more to this situation than initially met the eye. Whatever it is for our family to live, whatever it is. But I, I can't deal with it. He danger. I'm already to call a Russian embassy because he danger. And why don't you leave? Because I haven't got nothing. When you say he's dangerous, has he hit you before? Yes. How? <laughs> I don't want to show you. Okay, you have to uh, you have to give me something. Okay, he take me like this and put out the house and block block the house. That was today. Yes. What about other times? Other time? Like if I'm on the way, he be doing like this. All time, doing like this. I see redness right there, right? Okay, I see redness right here in your neck. Uh real quick, let me see your head. Keep going. All right here. Real quick. Have you uh, ever looked in a restraining order? Anybody? Yeah, I mean, this, this is what this, this I know what you're trying to do. This is what's so hard. This is what's so hard. I, I, I'm in. I'm in. A, I'm in a citizen battle, citizenship battle. Not a citizenship battle. I'm trying to help bring citizens. We don't have family here. Okay. What is your uh, first name? Maria. Spell it. M A M A R I I A. Like that. M A R I I A. No, here. Write your name for me, please. Okay, I don't understand the last name. M O W H H. No, oh, Howard. Mm -hmm. Howard. Okay. And you're and you're trying to be. I I, I don't, I'm trying to do something to help. To right. Reason. She won't give me. Gotcha. What do I do? That's, All right. She wants to take my kids and wants to take them and go to Russia and threaten me to leave my kids. I said, try to take my kids. Okay. Um. Why don't you just sit in my car for now? I'll put some AC on. 
I'll be back. I'm going to go inside and have a conversation with them. I was just having her have a seat so okay, you can... I'm going to talk to her real quick. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. What's your name? Maria. Maria? Can I call you Maria? What happened? Nothing. I'm scared to stay with him. Okay. And why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Why is that? He put me down and lock a, lock a house with two babies inside. What made him do that? What made him? Maybe because I'm around him. He hates me. He hates you? He hates me. Oh. You, okay, did, 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 did he ever hit you or no? Yes, he is. Where did he hit you? Yeah, wait, do you have something under that or no? Do you have clothes under that? Yes. Where? Right here. And you're right on your elbow, huh? Where else? I can show you more photo from my phone. Okay, well, I'm talking about right now. Not before, right now, he, he, to your elbow. He, he, he pick up me like this mm -hmm. and get out of a house. So he grab you by your neck? Yes. Can I see? Can I see? Can you turn around? Sure. Sure, okay. but he grab yeah. me over clothes and take out of a house oh, okay. so and, lock, and, lock, and, lock, and lock a house that I can't go inside. Maria, have you been drinking today? I, I, I drink one beer. So Maria, how did the did did uh, Brennan there get food all over his head? And how does he have a bunch of red marks around his shoulders, neck, and the back of his head? Can you show me? Because I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what I saw. Maybe a kid's doing it. The kids, the, your, your daughter that's that big put food or hit him with food on top of that big man? It's a, it's a kid. Okay. You know what this is? Miranda warnings? You know what that is? I'm going to ask you some self-incriminating questions that I don't want you to feel. You have to answer without a lawyer present. You understand? That we have a better understanding of what's going on here, right? You understand? What do you not understand? I'm not understanding what, what does mean. Okay. Do you speak English? Mm -mm. Wait, Anyway. I'm 50-50. I'm, I'm okay. uh, well, how about understand. this? I'm going to read this to you, and if you understand it, you say yes, and if you don't, you say no. Please repeat, okay? So, before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what rights are? Rights? U.S. citizen rights? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Mm -hmm. you, have, you have the right to, to be quiet, Okay. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained? Do you understand everything I said? A little bit, yes. A little bit? What do you not understand? I'm not understanding a couple of words. Okay, which ones? Which ones? Can, I, can I have one? Sure. Despite the officer's efforts to calm her down and promote honesty, the woman persisted in lying and shouting. Her confrontational behavior remained unchanged, disrupting the possibility of a peaceful resolution. When someone refuses to cooperate, especially in tense situations, it complicates matters. The officer tried to handle the situation delicately, but the woman's lack of honesty only added to the complexity. Remain silent. That means, that means you could go, sh look, look, you don't have to talk if you don't want to, okay? Good? You understand? Do you mind if we talk? Okay. So, have you been arrested before for domestic battery? Yes. Against Brendan? Yes. He what, against me. What happened? Uh, he said that I'm danger for him. When did that happen? 15th of December. This past December? Mm-hmm. Okay. And But what happened? Did you hit him? He hit you or what? No, nothing. It was just, it just fight. Just fight? Okay. So, Maria, this is what Brendan told me, okay? Did did you make the house messy yesterday? Did you maybe have a, too many? Dr you got you got a little too much to drink and make the Listen, house. Listen, you have two small kids. They all time something drawing. So your two small kids flipped the table over and, no. and, and, and threw a bunch no. of stuff. No, they sometimes make make a mess. I know, but did, did but did they flip a table over? No. So you did that. No, I put it up because the kids go on, on top on it. That's why I put it like this. You okay. not understand? Okay. No, I do, but I just don't understand why you would do that. And then how about how did everything? Okay. How did when how did all the kids, couches? Small kids it can be danger to small aware. kids to go on, uh, on the top of a table. You understand it? So why don't you put all why don't you put all the chairs down and uh, everything else down? Why that table? Because Brandon said that we need to a table. Okay. So you went and you made a. I understand your point. I understand that. I'm a, and I'm listening. 
but you went and you destroyed the inside of the house yesterday. You showed me pictures because you were drunk, okay? And then last night you got into an argument about it, which carried on to this morning. And this morning and last night he cleaned everything up, which is how the house is now. You guys were arguing. Did he bring McDonald's for breakfast for you guys? No. No, well, there's no. For himself, maybe. For himself, yes. okay. And then you guys were arguing. You picked up the, the burrito he was eating and you hit him in the head because even when I was there talking to him, he still had egg pieces in his head, okay? There's no way your little girl was able to go and launch a, a, a eggs or burritos on top of his head, all right? And then he started saying, you started, you went, you went outside, he closed the door on you, you busted the door. Hold on, stop. There's a bunch of handprints claw mark we'll call we'll call it hand dragged on the, on the window from you trying to get in and once he let you in in this case despite the officer's efforts to de-escalate the situation and encourage cooperation the woman's confrontational behavior hindered any progress it underscores the importance of effective communication skills and the need for patience and empathy in such scenarios he started beating him he has a big he has he has fist imprints right here right here right here on the back of his neck and there How'd that get? How'd that happen? Can Can I get my phone and show you what? How did, did that? I'm talking about today. How did okay. that happen? Did you hit him? I I I I push him. You didn't punch him. No, how, I'm not. So how no, did how, how how did he get all red right here in the back? How that happen? Ask him. I'm asking you because he told I did. He told me it was you. Look at myself. Look at myself right now. I can know. I, I can, see that. Can Can I Can I do it? Probably yes. Especially if you've done it before. This guy put me out of house, lock a house, okay. and say that I can't be around my kids. So that gives you right to go and start hitting him and throw burritos at him and then do that in front of your young daughter? It's not hurting them. I, I, I'm, I'm just put around a burritos and not hit him. How did it go? Because there's no way it, you, it just went and opened up on top of his head unless you, you hit him with it. And like you said, I, I would go, I wasn't here for it, but however, he has injuries consistent to what he's saying. He told me you punched him. He literally, there is... I guarantee if I grab your fist and I go like this and I put it against his skin with the redness that's there, it's going to be pretty much very close in size. And it is very consistent to what he said. You punched him in the arm, punched him in the chest, and in the back of the head where he has a big fist imprint right here and another one right there. All right, so what do you have to say about that? So what you're telling me, you, yeah, you went and you sprinkled the burrito on his head and you pushed him and that was it? I put a burrito on his head. He... Pick up me on the back, go out like, was like it, was this. That, was that after you hit him? No. When was that? It's be it's happening. Okay. Well, turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're gonna. As the situation intensified, the officer decided to proceed with the arrest, taking the woman by surprise. In response, she resisted and demanded an explanation for her arrest. It's a natural reaction to suddenly face a loss of freedom and uncertainty about the situation. Her resistance and inquiries highlight the crucial need for clarity and transparency in law enforcement interactions. People have the right to understand the reasons behind their arrest and the charges they're facing. Providing clear explanations in moments like these can help alleviate confusion and ease tensions. You also have domestic battery, so give me your hand. Thank you. You little cozy, cozy. You understand why, right? You're the primary aggressor. You guys are married. You have kids in common. All right. I'm calling the government. Stop. I'm calling the government. Now, if you start pulling away, you're gonna get another charge. This fucking little sweater thing. I got a state brochures already. Yeah. Smells like alcohol. How much you been drinking today? She had one beer. She said. That's like a. That's a. That's a. That's a Jennifer beer. <laughs> my, my, my beers don't smell like that, dude. Yeah. I mean, maybe on the cruise. Maybe. No, but you're, you're eating. You're eating. Yeah. I did eat. Hold on. All right, ready? No. Okay. No. No! 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 Please, no! Let's go. Take a seat. Despite the woman's disruptive behavior and resistance, the officer remained composed and managed to arrest her, eventually placing her into a police vehicle. This showcases the officer's ability to maintain control of the situation and carry out their duties effectively, prioritizing the safety of both the individual and the public. In challenging circumstances like this, law enforcement officers must stay focused and handle the situation with professionalism and restraint. Please, 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 
Please, yeah. please, 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 please. It's not gonna go around her. Isn't that Stop. working? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Grab the hobble from my door. Put the what? Okay, go grab the, the hobble from the from the uh, driver's side of the door. Please! Please! My kids! My kids! No! 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 Please! Alan, can you come please! out to the car, please? I think he's trying to, but they're tr they you, you try to do as nice as possible. You know what I'm saying? That there's a female officer out there with her, so. No! No! Please! Alan, can you come out to the car, please? Assistant hobbling her. Please come to the car, please. Please! Call the sparks. Call Russian Embassy! Russian Embassy against me! Go! 1125, 1116, closest unit, Joseph. 1125, we're both here. Once inside the police vehicle, the woman's behavior escalated even further. She began screaming and yelling at the officers, displaying aggression. This added another layer of complexity to an already challenging situation. This kind of behavior not only complicates matters, but also underscores the difficulties law enforcement officers face when dealing with individuals exhibiting hostile behavior. It can pose a risk to both themselves and others involved in the situation. Despite the challenges, officers are trained to handle such situations with professionalism. Listening or what? I can't hear it. I can't. I, get in the car. <laughs> Maria, can you please stop? Yeah. <laughs> go like this. Hold on, lift it there. Let it down like that. And now go ahead and uh, sl close the door slowly. And come like this. Well, it's not working. Doesn't. Nope. All right? Yep. Hold on, I'm gonna take this. Got a trunk. Oh my God, I gotta work out. Were you trying to call me on one? Yes. I was on two. Sorry, I didn't hear you guys. Fine. I just heard her yelling at you. What you need for me to help you with? No. He's doing the statement or no? Yeah. I'll All go right, with all the gist of it with the brochure. Get the vape on you? Oh, she smells bad. Yes, she, she, she's, she's full of oxygen. Upon arrival at the police station, the woman faced multiple charges, including resisting arrest and domestic battery. These charges were a reflection of the severity of her actions and the legal consequences she might encounter as a result of her behavior. It emphasized the serious implications of her actions and the accountability she would face for her choices. Facing charges like resisting arrest and domestic battery is no small matter. It signifies the legal ramifications of her actions. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. To stay updated on all our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.